Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to the dot-com lunch. I'm here with Oscar and once again we're back at for about corner patio enjoying the sun, the conversation and 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 the, and the good food. And the the best food. bar in Orange County. <laughs> exactly, the best okay. bar in Orange County. Now, uh, first of all, I need to apologize for last week's episode. We did do one last week, but uh, my, my camera guy, uh, he's obviously it's his first time and uh, he has really his focusing skill needs work and we he had a to totally, focus on his focusing skill. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, he failed to focus. He failed to fail, we had a failure to focus and as a result, the, uh, we got the audio, but the video is basically, it was focused on, oh, we were all blurred, so I decided, no, that would be one of those unairable episodes. So uh, we're going to, this will be the official first episode of just the new format of Dotcom Lunch, where we're just going to basically discuss the happenings of the week. And yeah. uh, so this is the, the second week of September? Yeah. All right, so and the big news, of course, is Apple. Apple, iPhone 7. Apple launched an iPhone 7 this week. And of course, the biggest question I have is, uh, are you going to buy it? I'm not going to buy it. You're I, not going to buy I'm it? Gonna stick to my Android. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, I looked at it and it looks nice. It, uh, the jet black looks really, really it does. prone to being scratched, but it does look beautiful. Yeah. But uh, I, I think I will wait to see until Apple comes out with a totally glass front, like totals. I'm waiting for them to make the, the total front of the screen. Sure. No this video be smaller, whatsoever. no edges, like edge to edge screen. Then they, they, they can make it like six inches, and it's still be the same size as a 5.7. Right. right. But they haven't done that yet, so I'll, I'll probably wait the for it. The problem with no edge is when you touch it, you're going to activate the screen just by holding it, and that's hard. They've talked about that. You, right, need, that might you need to have a frame for it to, otherwise you're going to have accidental touches. But yeah. I mean, they might figure Maybe just make out. some part of the edge, some part of the screen not touchable, yeah. or something like that. Right. But even though um, we're not going to get it, apparently, it's, there were already people lining up at the Apple store. Already? Already. They're lining up and it's still like 10 days to launch. And apparently the Jet Black is back order now until like It's already October. back order. Yeah, but, but there are probably people, I guess the person who probably ordered the Jet Black, it's all, it's all gone. So yep. I'm going to go line up at the Apple store now. Yeah, so. To hope to get one. I mean, in terms of you know, making use of time, it's probably not the most efficient use unless you live the dark and lifestyle like me. Then uh, you could probably make money from it, but I would imagine most of those people going to line up are not making money from no, this. <laughs> they're probably taking time off of work <laughs> to get their phone. Yeah, yeah, that's a, which oh, is uh, quite sad. I, like, you know, speaking of making money, like uh, if you want to not not just to make money, but you want to save a thousand dollars, and you want to help the environment, you know, the Tesla, I still have my one thousand uh, dollar coupon. Oh, okay. Owner coupon that I can give away to uh, anyone who's interested in buying a new Tesla Model S or Model X. So if you're in the market for a, a new car and you want to be environmentally friendly and drive a hip car in California, then consider getting the Model S or Model X. And I have a coupon code, only good for 10 uses, and I believe uh, I only have I have about seven left. So use the use the link, save yourself another thousand bucks off the. Well, you might think so. Is that does that work for the brand, to the newest one with a big, yep. big battery? Yeah, that, that, that does work for the new P100D, which is the newest Tesla, really, which is really more powerful than my one, 0 to 16 in 2.5 to 2.9 seconds, depending on the sedan or the SUV. That's ridiculous. So, but mind you, you know, you might say, a $1,000 saving on a $155 car ain't too much, but don't forget, you get to add in the $10,000 federal rebates and stuff too. That's 11000 bucks off, which is about 5%, so not too bad. You know. And every little bit helps. Every I little hope bit you helps. you pay for insurance for yeah. a year, maybe. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, the only people who wouldn't care would probably be Bugatti owners. Why is that? Bugatti owners. Because it, uh, uh, I, I, I'm on the, uh, the press list of most automotive company. Because yeah. uh, they, they consider me press. Right. So I receive a, a press release from Bugatti about the new Citroen. The Chiron. Chiron. Yeah, it's called a Chiron. And this is a replacement for the, for the Viron. Okay. And th th this Chiron is... 2.6 million dollars and that's the starting price well, well, once you is, once you add an add? option oh option oh what are the options uh, I mean, if you want the if you if you don't want to paint it you oh, want nice. just carbon fiber exposed carbon fiber six hundred thousand dollars extra extra so no paint right? now to change the tire to change the tire because those are specially developed michelin because they can they go 265 miles an hour to change the tire four tires Forty-two thousand dollars for four tires, and they have to be changed every twenty-five hundred miles. 
2,500 miles. Yeah, because that's how fast they wear out. And, so, if, if you, and, and if you decide to take out Volkswagen's invitation to come take your cheer on to it. It's top speed out of a five, ten mile track to a five mile straightaway. After doing that, you change the tires. Just one. one yeah, because right. if you're going 250 miles an hour, the tires will last. At 250 miles an hour, the tires will last about 12 minutes. But that's okay, because you only have enough gas for eight minutes. <laughs> okay. So a full tank only gives you eight minutes. Of, pretty much, of pretty much. That's how much fuel you're burning. At, at full speed, wow. <laughs> but anyway, somebody made a comment to me that said, why in the world would I buy a $2.6 million Bugatti? When I, for that kind of money, I can buy a fleet of Corvettes, I can buy an entire Ferrari lineup, I can buy all the Lamborghini lineup, but why? That's just so stupid. And well, the reason is because, A, you're thinking like a commoner, all right? So you got to think like a Bugatti owner. The Bugatti owner isn't like, should I take this one or that one? It's, their, their answer is, hmm, should I add this to my fleet? Now or later. Now or later, exactly. In fact, do you know how, do you know how many cars the average Bugatti owner owns? My first guess was six to seven or something. Six to seven? Yeah. yeah. You would think that. You think, yeah, you know, one car per week. No. And, I, and I, I'm already guessing that this is, you know, quarter million dollar cars already, so. Yeah. So this is a $2.6 million dollar car. But anyway, it turns out the average Bugatti owner, this is average, all right? It, like, they own 42 cars. And they're not cheap cars. Either. They ridiculous. own 42 cars. They, and the news release said that they probably own, every, they probably own like 10 Ferrari, every McLaren, and the Bugatti is just the cream of their crop. Wow. And not only do they own 42 cars, <laughs> they own 1.7 jets and 1.4 mega yachts. <laughs> so that's that crazy. is the average owner. So that, so well, that when, that when, when you're talking like, when you're talking like, a... yeah, when you're talking like, should I get, why would you buy this? You have 10 of those. You go, you, you already have 10 already, of those. They already have those. <laughs> <You go. Yeah. laughs> and those are not 42 normal cars. Those They're are 42 not, supercars. Exactly. So, that's crazy. so, you know, like, uh, hey, Jay Leno has a Bugatti. But, well, he doesn't have a cheer one, but he ha actually, Jay Leno, he has like, no, he has a, Duesen my, he has a Duesenberg. That sounds like a $10 million Duesenberg. But, yeah, wow. but no Jay, no, Jay has a few Bugattis as well. Does he have a Veyron? Veyron? Yeah. So, Jay Leno, yeah, he probably does. You know? But the thing is, Jay Leno is probably a little bit above the typical Bugatti well, owner because he has average. over 100 cars. Yeah, he's not average. He has over 100 cars, but the average owner has 42 cars. And we know they're not going to be but using the Jay same doesn't, As far as I know, Jay doesn't have a yacht. Or a jet. Oh, he might have a jet, but I'm not sure if it's a yacht or not. I don't think he has, oh, I don't know. Maybe he's just humble about it. I've Maybe, he doesn't tell, it. we don't know. But, but, uh, so they, so, but you know, they're asking, making the comparisons with multi-million dollar car, it, it, it's, it's irrelevant. It's like when people it ask is. what it's kind irrelevant. of mileage they get. People don't care. <laughs> exactly. They don't care about their MPGs and those cars. <laughs> all right, so, uh, what all right, else? so lastly, uh, oh, we, we started a new book. Oh, yeah. We saw a new, new book for our book club. club. Yeah. It's called Grit by Angela Duckworth. We invite you to read it with, it with us. We're going to be meeting every Wednesday as we usually do for lunch. Go to meetup.com, .com lifestyle to find all the details and come and join us. And make sure you show up because sometimes there's surprises. Like last week, a lot of people missed out on a cool book that John had. Yep. What was uh, it? Uh, everyone that showed up last week got themselves a free autographed copy of Ask Gary V by Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, I was in New York, uh, I guess, uh, last month. For the affiliate summit, and uh, I met up with Gary. I got him to sign a whole bunch of Ask Gary V books. Brought him home, and I said I was gonna give them to everyone who showed up, but only two other persons showed up. So yeah, it was a, it was small I, I had an extra book I had to take home. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that means there's still books available. Hint. That's right. Go to notagrash.com/books for more information. Join us. Uh, great discussion. Great networking. All right. So uh, uh, next week uh, I will be in Cabo San Lucas. Oscar will be doing the dot-com lunch, so it's still on. We'll see you guys next week, uh, and I will say hi from Cabo. Ben, buenas noches, so whatever the language buenos is. Dias. Buenos dias. Right. And uh, like, so share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.